How do you learn to do something? Like, serve a tennis ball, for example. Do you study it? Reading every explanation in great detail? Examining diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions? Do you read up on the underlying principles to ensure you understand the theory? Maybe not. Maybe you'd be better served learning from someone who can show you what to do. After all, they know what they're doing. Hey, can you show me how to do that? I mean, I know how, I just can't. Yeah, it's really simple. You just throw up the ball and you hit it. Hmm, or maybe not. This problem is an example of a famous debate in the philosophical field of epistemology, or the philosophy of knowledge, the relationship between knowledge how and knowledge that. Knowledge that is what most people think of as knowledge. It's the knowledge you have when you know certain facts are true, like knowing that tennis balls are made of rubber, According to some philosophers, this is what the ancient Greeks called episteme. Knowledge how is the knowledge you have when you know how to do something, like knowing how to serve a tennis ball. Some philosophers say this kind of knowledge is what the Greeks called techne, a word that is often translated as art or craft. Take another example, like driving a manual transmission car. The question is whether knowledge that part of knowledge how. In other words, is knowing how to do something just a matter of knowing certain kinds of facts about that thing, like what an RPM meter shows you, the rules of the road, or how a transmission works. Hey, can I drive your car? You know how to drive a manual? Of course, you just engage the clutch to allow the engine to turn with the proper gear ratio, releasing the clutch at the same time that you engage the throttle so that the drivetrain revolves with the proper gear without causing any lurching in the car. So you've done this before? Well, no, but... There is no way I'm letting you anywhere near Betty's driver's seat. Some philosophers say knowledge how does not come from knowledge about facts. Instead, they think it comes from having a certain ability. If you can perform the activity, like driving a manual transmission car, then you can be said to know how to do it, even if you don't know any of the facts. It's not about facts, you see. You have to make your mind one with the car. You have to be the car. It's not about drivetrains and gear ratios. It's about your spirit. Other philosophers disagree. They claim knowledge how really is just a form of knowledge that. According to them, to know how to do something is just a matter of knowing certain facts. They just have to be the right kind of facts. To drive a manual, maybe you don't need to know what's happening in the drivetrain. You just have to know that when you hear a clinking noise or smell something burning, you've done something wrong. And just because you aren't very good at explaining the facts you know, that doesn't mean you don't know them. 